another thing, uh, and I'll and I'll mention this because I'm I'm a geek. Uh, I got I got to talk about ChatGPT. I got to, I got to talk about ChatGPT. Mm. You know yeah, what I mean? please like, do. Please, so, actually, please do. Yeah, <laughs> please do. Please. So I, yeah. uh, shout out to to the AI toolkit deeper than the brand. I actually created my first uh, ChatGPT, which was so easy nice. and fun. Okay, so for those who don't know, uh, OpenAI, which is you know the creator of ChatGPT, um. They did this big dev conference is more for developers and talks about API, really nerdy stuff that we necessarily don't really care about. But they made two major announcements that was super interesting. One, ChatGPT for Turbo. So newer version, not necessarily faster, but it has way more characters so this one has about 128K tokens, which means like literally you could put a whole book, you put all your PDFs in there and it accepts it and you don't have to break it into different parts anymore because that can be very frustrating, right? Two, uh, the, you, when you can talk to it, right? Because ChatGPT now has where you can talk to it and it talks back to you. So now it has... A little bit more of like native language, like you can actually understand what it says. Like it sounds like an actual human being, not super robotic, like how we know of Siri and everything else. So they made that that kind of a improvement. Another improvement that they did was if you have ChatGPT four, where you would normally have to do like web browsing and data analysts and Dolly 3, and it was all being different things, it now collapsed and ChatGPT can know when you want to surf the web, when you want to make images, when you want to analyze a certain PDF or it all in one take, and it does it very well. And of course, the biggest thing is instead of it cutting off, the knowledge cutting off from September of 2021, which was super annoying to most people, this one cuts off at April of 2023 and it's continuously going to up update. They said they'll never allow it to be that old ever again. So from a chat GPT for turbo, that's really dope. Now, what I got excited about is that they said that you can create your own chat GPT. And for most the the people that are creating their own different chat bots with third parties, there's a lot of coding to make those different types of software where this one, it takes no code. It's literally like you talking to chat GPT. Hey, I want to create this. Can you, and it'll, it's crazy because it'll create a title for you. It'll create a logo for you for it. It'll take you through the steps on the side of it, it'll create this playground where you can test it out if you like it or not. One thing that I created was like a YouTube title generator, right? Where you give it an idea and it will ask you a few questions as far as your target audience. What is the transformation is trying to do? And it'll come up with five titles that you can put based off the, the YouTube formula that I gave it. What I'm also trying to work on is it creating titles or not titles, uh, thumbnails It's going to create thumbnails off of the the titles as well. So I'm, I'm working on that. I did that on live in the community and it was simple and you can mm. either keep it to yourself. You can share it with uh, people who have the link or you can make it public. What they're going to be doing is that they are going to create a GPT store, just like an app store, just like a Google Play store. But whoever makes those, they have a chance of having revenue share for when it does go public. So this is ways for creators to make a little extra couple of coins, because if your chat GPT or your GPT, that's what they're calling it, goes, then that's that's some an extra revenue stream to keep in mind. My thought process is already, if you have a community, what are the different GPTs that you're creating that only your community has access to that is more of your brand, whether it is literally a mini you 
of it. Like it, you could do a question and answer and whatever questions they have, it's answering it in, in your tone with your knowledge, whether it is, um, let's say, uh, an idea generator for for what you do, right? And, and there's so many different other ideas that you can do. I'm more of just like, or even like a challenge. Like if you have a challenge that you want to do, have them talk and bring accountability inside of that actual GPT. And then it can tell you next steps of what to do. Congratulate them in, in all these great, amazing things. So that's me geeking out for a little bit. Apologize, but I'm really excited about that one because there's so many different ideas that I have as far as the chat GPT part of it, where you're creating your own because now Instead of having all those different chats on the side of your chat GPT, if you use it that much, now literally you can trigger it. And then for those people who have uh, teams, you can share that out to your team. So it's something that is duplicated instead of SOPs and that whole night. Look, this literally does everything and it will tell you everything within this uh, GPT. I probably just gave certain people certain business models and I'm just spinning it out real mm, quickly. Mm, 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 mm. What's your thoughts on it? Man. Oh my God. So, oh my God. Yeah. I am so incredibly excited about this uh, because I was not expecting the improvement to be what it was. So over the last maybe three, four months, I started diving into some of the courses and I guess like call it course slash incubator, but it was all online around this no code AI integration. And it's tough. It's not easy, you know? So I was like, okay, I know there's opportunity here, but to have to learn how to navigate these no code platforms is a, a tremendous hula hoop that is taken forever. So when I'm, I'm listening to you know, the keynote. And I was like, wait, did he just say, Sam Waltman, when he announced the episode, did he just say what I think he just announced? So I was at the gym, just letting it play in the background. So I pick up and I'm like, yo, that's crazy. This thing is now going to be done exactly how you explained, you know, literally through, uh, I guess you call it just simple inputs. So I think there is, I'm really excited about it. I want to think big picture on it. So I'm taking my time to really let it marinate. But it's, it's, I can, I mean, shout out to you for already creating some of this. Cause I, my thoughts is already on that. Like I know exactly two main, two main easy ones can be integrated for some of the community members to really make use of on demand at all times. But uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I'm excited for this. I'm yeah, excited. I'm a, I'm a geek out um, probably a little bit this weekend where, you know, I'm, what I'm really going to do is allow chat GPT, not the GPT builder, but the chat GPT to really walk me through step by step of how to even build it. Because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. why not ask the, why not ask the, the actual product of how right. to build itself? You know, yeah, so. Yeah. That was the best prompt that I ever came across. It was exactly that. It was instead of you trying to, you know, boss the chat GPT around and feel all good about getting these things on demand, actually ask and let it lead you to the right way. Because I, I came across something, because I remember once I was trying to improve. So I, I had this whole realization around how courses and the online education needs a revamp. It needs something new. It needs something refreshing. It can't just be videos. It can't just be PDFs. And they're good. They've been great. But I'm thinking to what's the next thing? So I literally, that was my input, you know, in, into, into ChatGPT, the older one, I guess, at, at this point. And it started spitting out ideas as to how you can integrate ChatGPT into your LMS. And I was like, whoa, I... I didn't even think that, I didn't even think about that. Neither did I think it was possible. So to your point about allowing the technology to lead you through what is the best way to do something, 
yeah, it's 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 powerful. So I think this is the only time I'll really, really suggest you guys to upgrade to ChatGPT Plus. I, no, yeah, I haven't said that officially for ever, like never. But with this this particular one, especially if you're trying to take advantage of the opportunities, like definitely upgrade and start making you some GPTs and just try it out. Like people in my community are now, once they see the live, like, okay, I'm going to try it out. Too. It's that simple. It's me talking to it. It gives me different options of a, of a title for it. It creates the logo right then and there. I said, look, create a, cause I was just testing it out. Hey, let's, let's do one for YouTube titles. Cool. Uh, Let's call it the YouTube title or something. I was like, nah, give me five more options. And it came up with, with uh, five more options. I allowed the community to pick. We ran with it. Hey, give me a logo. He's like, okay, we got to give you a profile pick because it's just like anything else. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't like it. I said, hey, create a chart with it going up and have the YouTube logo in the, in the middle. It did exactly that. We're in a we're just in a really, really good time with AI. I just really feel that if people truly embrace it right now and just kind of test it out, like at least mm -hmm. you're going to save bare minimum, you're gonna get at least three hours back of your time. Bare minimum. Yeah. That's no, I agree, if not more. Yes. Yeah. You know, so, there was there was a there was a there was news that came out this week that a large corporation, I think uh, it's an accounting firm, PwC, I forget what their specialty is, but PwC invested a billion dollars over the next three years, but get this, not for them just to build their own AI, but to specifically to train their employees on how to best use AI. Mm. But that was, mm. that was a little bit different, right? It's not like, oh yeah, AI, I know. It's like, no, let's train our people. We're gonna invest a billion dollars over the next three years so that we can help our people really know how to use it. So that's, that's that tells you, you know, that tells you where things are going. Yeah, that's 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 good. So yeah, people, go go do that. Go do that. 